Russian territory has been bombed by the Russian army for the first time. The territory of the Kursk region was attacked by Russian aviation with FAB-3000 bomb. The relevant images were shared on Russian telegram channels. The invaders have said that they have been targeting the position of the Ukrainian army, which has been advancing in the Kursk region for more than a month. As a result of the strike, a strong explosion occurred. The Ukrainian side said that the strike was directed at a saltpeter warehouse and that the Ukrainian army suffered no losses as a result of the incident. The Russians demonstrated training to intercept Ukrainian sea drones using FPV drones launched from an Mi-8 helicopter. This was noted by the publication Defense Express. The helicopter contains a crew of FPV drones and the UAV itself is launched from the open door of the helicopter. After that, the operator makes a decision to attack the target. Although this solution seems rather simple, it represents a new approach to using FPV drones. In fact, this approach neutralizes the threat that anti-aircraft drones can pose to the helicopter. Let us recall that back in the spring, the Russians published a video in which you can see a Russian helicopter firing at one of the Ukrainian anti-aircraft drones. It shows a short-range air-to-air missile. As the Russian side noted at the time, the drone managed to launch a missile towards the Mi-8 helicopter, but it missed. The FPV drone's flight range significantly exceeds the R-73's launch range from zero altitude. The latter is about 12 kilometers, while the FPV drone's range can reach 20 to 30 kilometers. It should be noted that the Russians have also begun producing their own sea drones. Thus recently, it was reported about the serial production of a heavy sea drone, which was named Vizier. Its length is 7 meters, and its width is 2.5 meters. The drone can reach speeds of up to 45 kilometers an hour, and its range reaches about 500 kilometers. Earlier, the Russian Federation presented the Morena 300S unmanned boat, which received a warhead weighing 500 kilograms. It is reported to have a range of up to 500 kilometers and a speed of up to 45 knots. The warhead weighs 500 kilograms. The developers do not disclose other important parameters. The available data suggests that the Russians created this drone for coastal operations. The reliability of the design is a big question for experts, in particular the trailer motor, which is more reminiscent of similar products of the Yemeni Houthis. Overall, the low build quality of the Morena 300S is striking. Perhaps this is due to the fact that it was created in a short time. The boat's appearance can even be confused with the bizarre products of Latin American drug cartels. Among the most interesting solutions is an element similar to the dish from Starlink. Perhaps this is a receiver of another system, stylized as a system from SpaceX. Russian troops have recently advanced in Glushkovo district of the Kursk region and the army of Ukraine have advanced in their offensive in this territory of the Russian Federation. Also, Ukrainian soldiers cunningly lured a column of Russians into anti-tank traps they had built themselves and struck at it outside Plekovo. The Institute for the Study of War ISW said this in its report. Analysts exposed Russian propagandists lying that their forces allegedly recaptured some settlements of the Kursk region. It is noted that the Russian armed forces have advanced in the fields southeast of Veseloy, southwest of Glushkovo. The defense ministry of the aggressor country claimed 
that the Ukrainian troops allegedly unsuccessfully attacked the border near Noviput in Glushkovo district and propagandists came up with the idea that the same situation was near Veseloy and Medvezi. Currently, units of the Russian 56th Airborne Regiment are trying to counter the army of Ukraine there. According to an ISW summary, Ukrainian forces have recently advanced on the western edge of their bulge in the Kursk region near Korenevo. Russian sources reported that their forces have also had to repel Ukrainian attacks near Lubimovka, Olgovka, Kremianoi, Kamyshevka and Plekovo. And although Russian troops had advanced southeast of Sudza near Plekovo, they suffered losses there. Forbes' analysis of the geolocation footage showed that a mechanized column of the Russian armed forces possibly consisting of elements of Russia's 15th Pyatnashka International Volunteer Brigade got stuck in Russian anti-tank traps set up ahead of the Ukrainian invasion of Kursk region near Plekovo, allowing Ukrainian forces to strike it outside the settlement, the analysts stressed. Russian resources also said their troops had recaptured Obukovka, southeast of Korenevo, and advanced 800 meters north of Uspenovka on the border. However, ISW noted that there was no visual evidence of this. Russians do not change their tactics of destroying cities, even if they are on their own territory. Guided FAB bombs are falling on Sudza in the Kursk region, just like on Ukrainian cities. As admitted by Ukrainians, Russians are bombing their own territory like any other. This is exemplified by the attack using an FAB glide bomb with UMPK modules on a kindergarten in Sudza and numerous private homes. The city, which had a population of about 5,000 people before the Kursk operation, has dwindled to about 200 residents. According to the Ukrainian agency, Ukrainian soldiers are assisting. They are destroying their own. Even though Sudza is located in the rear, Russians are wiping it off the face of the earth. They are dropping guided bombs, shelling with artillery, and using kamikaze drones, reported the Ukrainian Armed Forces Ground Forces on Telegram.